Uh, these are just uh, some of the images of the West Coast, Southwest California. You have the uh, various lafic lake volcanic fields, the coastal volcanic fields, even Long Valley Caldera. They're south of the Long Valley Supervolcano, Amboy Crater, San Diego Calavera Lake, which is a volcano plug, and of course the Pisgah Crater Volcano, which has seen a lot of quakes lately. Uh, and uh, this is just an update on the quake swarms that we have seen today. First of all, I'd like to thank you for having patience. My, in the past few days, my uh, fan on my computer was acting up and the sound was just terrible. Thank goodness I got it fixed today and I got a new fan. So I'm sorry for uh, inconveniencing you and thank you for your patience. Now, what uh, I've been looking at today is that we've had a tremendous amount of earthquake activity on the West Coast. And uh, I've tried to put some, uh, well, the th thing is that my Google is in Greek, unfortunately. This is Greek writing. Uh, this is the West Coast. This is San Francisco here. This is uh, Los Angeles somewhere here. And this is the Long Valley Caldera, where I have this pin here. This is the Coso Volcanic Field. This is a Lavic Lake volcanic field, Pisgah Crater Volcano, the Amboy Crater Volcano. Uh, this here is the Salton Buttes. That's a volcano. It's uh, dormant, but it's it's you know it's got uh, geysers and things. It's uh, still they have a geothermal um, plant there, so they have magma there giving geothermal energy. Then San Diego. And I'm just giving you a, a, a brief of what activity we had today. Now, if we go back to USGS, one day, magnitude 2.5 and above, you'll see there's just basically nothing. And to look at this, you say, well, there's nothing going on. Well, that's not so, though. This here, 2.5, is around uh, this area here. No, Long Valley Caldera, sorry. That is uh, San Francisco. This is Long Valley Caldera. And uh, here it is, Long Valley Caldera had that quake. There we go. And of course, above this area here is the um, wonderful plate in Cascadia and this uh, this is it here wonderful complete Cascadia subduction zone where the Pacific plate is going underneath North American plate is one of the worst subduction zones in the world and we have the uh, on the opposite side of the Pacific Ocean of course in Indonesia another subduction zone where they've had tremendous earthquakes and volcanic eruptions going on the past few months and uh, very strongly the past few days. Okay, so this is Long Valley Caldera. It's a super volcano just about um, southwest, about 500 miles from Yellowstone. But we can go to a, another very nice site. Uh, this one here. Is that it? Let's see. Yes, Sizemo Berkeley. Okay, here you have uh, very nice information. Now this, the, the, uh, this, past, this is the activity of the past week, is the yellow and the blue is the past day today. In other words, past hour is red. And uh, well, maybe it's because I haven't uh, refreshed this, but anyway, oh, here's a red one right there. There you go. That is 0.8, that's little. But this is San Diego, and we also have a, San Diego does have, here we go, San Diego Calavera Lake is a volcano plug. There's a volcano there. Okay, take my word for it, because I did look that up. 
I said, why is there uh, so many earthquakes there? There's a volcano plug there. There you go. And that is a tremendous amount of earthquakes today. For example, that was a two, but look at all that activity there. Okay. Let's go to Wyoming. This area here is, of course, uh, Yellowstone. And this is uh, Long Valley. This area here is Long Valley. San Francisco, Long Valley right here. And as you can see, it's not very far away. Uh, here is the legend. The legend of the map. That's this area here, about this scene, is what, 200, 400, 600 miles, okay? Salt Lake City, of course, and uh, Salton Sea, where is that? Anyway, somewhere over here, we, we can't see the map very well, but anyway, it's right here. Okay, that's the San Diego, we had, a, a, we had the Pisgah Crater as well. Is right around around here, Amboy Crater, and the Lavic Lake Volcanic Field. All those are hopping today, and this past week, of course. But they are hopping today. There we go. Um, some of the past week, you know, these were 3.4. They were not small. Uh, and we also had, uh, I think was it was yesterday, we had a 3.1. That's it. No, it must be that. That's 3.1 at the uh, magnitude at Old, uh, Old Faithful, which was pretty big. And, of course, here we have the Wanda Fuca plate. This was uh, the swarm that they had. Um, the double swarms that they had for the past few days. So I just wanted you to be aware that uh, there's a tremendous amount of volcanic uh, presence in California and uh, we do have uh, they have said that Yellowstone is considered to be on the ring of fire because of the fact that they have found the Pacific Plate lodged underneath the, uh, in between two magma chambers of the Yellowstone supervolcano. Um, okay, I'm not a fear monger, but uh, okay, the, the, there's a difference between this and this. And then you can go to the um, tilt meters to see what they're going, what they're saying, and you have a tremendous amount of activity every single day. Not to mention, and I'll go, this is Oklahoma today, okay, of course, Oklahoma, and uh, not to mention, this is just the past day, too, not to mention, Rochester, New York had an earthquake, wow, too, okay, Maine. Maine is rocking, uh, rocking, I mean, uh, low frequency earthquakes and tremors and uh, what a mess. I'm going to make a, a different, and also Texas as well, Texas as well. Okay, well you do have earthquakes here, but okay. Uh, what's happening with Maine? We know that they had found a super volcano in the on the east coast but i have to do a special another video on that so that you can see the tilt meter and the readings of the frequencies in maine and why is that what's going on there okay so i just wanted you to be aware that something really weird is very and uh, very strange is going on with the Earthquake swarms in the, the Pisgah great crater area, and uh, it's in the, the whole Lavic uh, and the Coso volcanic fields, which are, of course, what can I tell you? 
I mean, they're so close to each other. They're so close to the Long Valley Caldera. What are they? They're like uh, two or three hundred miles with, from each other in this area. They're on top of each other. And when you're talking about a supervolcano, I don't know. Are they? They? I'm not a geologist, but I did take a geology course in college, and it was one of my most beautiful courses. I really enjoyed it. We even went down into a zinc mine in um, Pennsylvania. We went down, what was it, like 150, 200 feet down. We wore, we wore hard hats and it was chilly down there. It was uh, basically the same temperature all year round, like 50 degrees Fahrenheit or something. And we had to come back up just before they were to set the blasts because they, they blast them. They blast the underground uh, chambers to uh, loosen the rocks so that uh, they can continue mining, stuff like that. Anyway, um, that's the activity today, as you can see, and even Yellowstone, even Yellowstone. Okay, that's a little one, but anyway. And San Andreas, and of course, Juan de Fuca Plate has had a lot this week. It's 5.3. On the 14th on Valentine's Day, and as we as we said, there's a huge difference between this and this. And I, I'm not even sure. You see, there's a difference between what is recorded and what is reported. So I'll leave a link below for you, so you can see this is on Seismore Berkeley. The other one was, of course, USGS. And you can always enjoy the areas in your Google Maps to find out where exactly they are, how far they are from each other. And we'll keep an eye out on this every few days to see what's going on. Thank you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.